A Brazilian artist, Josely Carvalho, shares a brief presentation of two of the 20 small memories created for the collection of military cannons at the National Museum of History in Rio de Janeiro, a dialogue orchestrated by Smell as a connector of artists, public, and Brazilian history. <laughs> well, first, I, I need to thank you for these four wonderful days. It's incredible. I've been so excited and waiting for the next, for the following day to be here. It's been very interesting. So let me talk about uh, the Within the Smells of History. This is, uh, in my last two installations, uh, olfaction became a sensorial channel to interpret and perceive history. And the new installation, Within the Smells of History, was to open exactly three months ago uh, in the uh, Garden of Canons at the National Museum of History here in Rio de Janeiro. They do have a collection of military canons from the 15th to the 20th century. Um, its main concept was to present military canons as smells of history. Um, I'm a visual artist, and this is the first installation I don't use my hands to build visual bodies, but rather I appropriate the 20 of the canons from the museum's collection and created smells as main characters in the plot. Uh, the, whole, the role of the smells is to uncover and preserve memories of those affected by these violent objects of death and establish a dialogue between past and present chapters of Brazilian history. Uh, I would say the installation may bring uh, the act of smelling as an act of critical thinking in its narrative and interactivity with the public. Uh, the canons are beautiful uh, sculpture objects and uh, of bronze and iron from many, many uh, Euro different countries, European countries that were the colonizers of Brazil. And, uh, but they are monuments of power glorify military conquest, uh, and yet they conceal acts of violence, and I wanted to bring them out. Um, so my artwork in the last 40 years uh, has had the female as the protagonist, and yet at this time, in this space with uh, 40 giant penis exposing themselves as metaphors for political, military, economic, and sexual power, I had to figure out how, as a woman, I would handle this. So I decided to penetrate into these dark and heavy time tunnels to sniff the memories and the affections forgotten in their oxidized, dark interior walls. Actually, in Portuguese, and I could not translate into English, there is a military term that says that the, these interior walls of a cannon are the soul of a cannon. Um, I have created then several smells, again with Leandro Preti of uh, Edivodanto Brasil, uh, to be inserted into the different uh, cannons. And uh, these cannons, they were from different regions and periods of the colonization of Brazil. And uh, as an example, uh, when Portugal arrived in 1500, um, there was an estimated of 11 million indigenous people living in 2000 tribes in Brazil. And uh, um, at this moment, there are not uh, a million and uh, it's about 300 tribes only. And of course, uh, on today, you must have read, of course, uh, how the Brazilian government at this moment uh, is negating the pandemic and is also using the agribusiness to, co uh, to cover the, all the territory, the indigenous territory. Um, so, there is another, uh, one of the canons, the canon three, dealt with the indigenous. Then the canon, canon uh, 28 deals uh, with the smell of anoxia and the lack of air, which is another witness of the deforestation of the Amazon. And 
By today, of course, uh, Bolsonaro's government denies global warming and prefers agribusiness rather than conservation. So each canal had a story. Now I just brought it, those, this couple. And, uh, but in March of this year, COVID-19 invaded my body and I lost my sense of smell. I was stunned when I realized that the smells that I had created last year, they were the smells, they kind of foretold the pandemic. And uh, then I, in my isolation with uh, a fear of death, I rewrote completely the whole installation and to be able to include in these histories of canons more the connections of today with the pandemic. And at the same time, I took it to the cloud um, in order for people to interact, even if they cannot smell, but they can, maybe people that have also lost the sense of smell, they may be able to smell without smelling, and they may be able to create and describe. And uh, whenever it happens, the exhibit, they will be able, some of them will go. And uh, at the same time, I am trying to work already with an engineering company in order to be able to um, have the smells as, as digital smells, to be able to use it in this way so people will not have to put the noses inside of the cannons or touch the cannons. Um, and um, let me see, well, this is from the, from the site, one of the smells which is the smell of that, you know. And here is the one, I'm trying to go in very fast, I know you don't have time. And um, it's the, this is for me, um, this is smell for me is the metaphor of the whole installation because it's a mixture of stinky and aromatic, perceived in our own histories. And uh, at the same time, uh, is an encounter of the female and the male sensibilities in both the flower and the fruit of cannonball tree. And um, it is a very large tree, very, it's a soft wood and this native of Brazil, although you can find it for 3000 years in India. And um, it is, the flower, as you see, it's beautiful, it's very sensuous physically, but the smell is very light and aromatic for the nose. And the fruit, when it falls into the floor, it's about that size, and it explodes like a cannonball, and if it falls into your head, of course you'll be killed, and has a pungent and fetid smell, much worse than a durian. And yet many animals come and like it. And they are the ones that will perpetuate the trees because it's a self-pollinated tree. And uh, since Givaudan did not have in its data bank the smell of the fruit, I got one in the streets of Rio de Janeiro. I took the ball by the plane to Sao Paulo and there we used the scent track methodology, which is, a methodology from the, this company, no? which is a method of extraction without harming the plant. And they are able to, like this, to take the molecules. And uh, so that's how we did uh, the, the smell of the cannonball tree, by combining that fruit with a little bit of the flower. Thank you. And, uh, Just to show, you have, you have maybe one more minute, yeah. Okay. That's it, I'm finishing. And I just wanted to leave here an open question. With the, I perceive a smell as an instrument of affection and communication. And yet at this moment, our nose is an instrument of fear and threaten our lives. So it means we don't know yet how many years the, the leftovers of this physical and psychological effect of the pandemic will still be felt. And uh, taking this, I would say, uh, um, how, how can we use smells and still approximate it? 
the artist to the public and communicate because this is uh, communication for me is the main object of my art practice. That's it. <laughs>